NRL clash between the home team and the Parramatta Eels. Hey boys, welcome back to round 14 of my Beer Pro career mode. And our team is pretty going pretty good at the moment, actually. Uh, everyone's pretty fit. You know, the, the worst thing that could happen for our, our, our team is a few injuries because, you know, we lose a couple of our big guns and the team will definitely struggle. But we're up against the Parramatta Eels. And that hair, that hair color is like pink. That's crazy. I know, it's sort of red. I think the sun is just making it a bit pinker. Um, but yeah, what... What just happened? I got pretty much... I uploaded the uh, new screenshots. Which I thought were actually pretty good. Um, but there were two better ones. Uh, but yeah, let's get back. Let's just go into this game. We won't talk about that. I've already talked about that in, in enough detail. As Loco gets tackled there. So yeah, Parramatta. They're going pretty good on the table, but Moy Moy just uh just absolutely ruffles that into the grandstand. Terrible pass. Elgi straight off the scrum to two of us check. But yeah, I haven't um I've, it hasn't been that long since I've actually uploaded a video as Tom Lolo just busts straight through after a poor pass, but then we just throw a silly offload. But yeah, I know it hasn't been too long since I uploaded the last video, but I haven't actually recorded one of these in a fair while. As to a bus check, just with the big step, and he's straight through the gap, and he's going to go all the way. Unbelievable try by Tua bus check. God, I, I should stop scoring tries like that, because people are going to start thinking I'm playing on rookie difficulty, but that was, you know, whenever, whatever fullback it is, if he's got a lot of speed, and... You know, you can always tell if there's like hardly any chases, you're a good chance of making a bust if you got a good fullback in the game. So, there was like two players on that side. Tulvashek just had to step one and then the speed, the acceleration and then the, the follow on speed just helped him get to the get to the line pretty much. That's a nice pass, but Pengai just... Oh, Morgan just comes up with it somehow. It was in Pengai's arms, but Morgan just, I don't know. He somehow got the ball. Very unfortunate. It was going to be... Probably would have been a try, honestly. It would have been very hard to stop Pengai after he made that break. And we had support looming, so... Pretty devastating. But we are still 6-0 up. We just got to defend here. Pretty much Paramount's first um, chance. Chance of attacking. As Tonga, with a great little offload to Loco, but brilliant tackle by, I think, Algi at the back there. Covered up well. As Roberts gets driven back. Ho I was hoping he's going to offload it. Because usually he goes forward. But last tackle. Always dangerous. 20 meters. 10 meters out. And they put up the bomb. Very dangerous. And. I mean. What can we do? <laughs> Fucking bombs man. I'm pretty sure we knocked it on. Paramount just picked it up. The great offload. And. Moy Moy. <laughs> he went into that animation like really early. So we had no chance of tackling him. Like. Three meters out of the line, he went into the diving animation for the try line. So, yeah, we had no chance. As a terrible offload there, I pick it up, race away, but they do cover up. But we got a good chance here to take the lead back late in this half. As Tepe Morel gets tackled there, quick play the ball onto Mbai, out to Tamalolo, nice ball to Gresmill, little step should have probably went for the offload. Oh, right there, you know, I'm always a bit nervous to throw passes because it could easily go the other way as Maroa. Just draw, draw and pass. It's all we needed to do. We had the numbers. And yeah, just, just ran straight at the player. Draw, uh, threw the pass, exactly the right moment. Took the tackle, but Mbai is going to easily score. And that's a great hit back, you know. Paramount got a bit fortunate with their try. But just before half time, we, we take the lead back, which is always welcome. As, you know, right there, very disappointing. Parrot was actually straight through the gap looking at that again. If I just kept running, he would have made a good, good bit of ground. As Tonga gets driven down there, almost out. But unfortunately, he didn't actually go into the sideline. Our defense has actually been pretty good this game. Usually, it's usually the second half where we do struggle, though. 
I think the young team, um, our fitness is not very good, but a great tackle on Moimoi. Moi. He tries the miracle offload and it goes forward. As we try a little sneaky short, so, uh, short side play there to Pengai. Usually works, actually. Again, we're just blitzing it down here. As Elgi here goes for 40-20. Doesn't quite have the legs on it, but Mulaney's going to do something pretty silly. And he tries to go up the blind side, and Lugia has none of that and just drives him into touch. It was a nice kick, but Mulaney definitely shouldn't have. He should have come in field as Oates gets taken. We really haven't made too many breaks this game. Usually, usually our centers and wingers can fend off a bit easier, but the Eels are actually defending pretty well. Almost straight through the gap, but good cover defense. As Tulvashek with the big step. Step again, and a brilliant tackle by I don't know who it was on the wing. Just brings him down. Samoa though, onto Algi, gets driven down. A good strong charge by Algi, but not the size to really bust through them. Tom Lolo back on the inside to two of our shake, and he's not going to be stopped. Nice little play there. You know, they were, they were sprawled. They were sprawled everywhere out on that side. We we hit them like three times. They did cover, they did, their cover defense was pretty solid, but the third time was the charm as Tom Lolo just cuts it back on the inside, and two of our shake pretty much just, just gets driven over the line but we'll take it nice little try and we're about to go 18-6 up which is an unassailable lead so it's always nice as we come back less than 10 minutes to go Sando does a brilliant kick right here and <laughs> you've got to see what happens oh my goodness <laughs> this try I just I had no idea I mean look at this it's going out two of our check Somehow bats it back. I'm pretty sure it's on the line anyway. The winger... <laughs> I don't know how this happened. It's on the line though. The winger comes through. Puts it down. He is definitely out when he, he puts it down. But they... <laughs> they somehow get a try there. I just... You know, if that was for them to win the game, I would have been pretty annoyed. But we had the game won and I thought it was pretty... <laughs> I thought it was pretty entertaining. Like, two of our checks sh somehow kept it in, in play for them. Even when I just left it. <laughs> Oh man, that was a crazy try. But a good solid win. Good solid win. We never look like losing. They're the type of games I like. Two of our check, two tries, a man of the match. And by also played very well. But yeah, that's that's this round. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.